fucking one in the morning. You think I want to recap that bullshit game that they just put forth? Holy crap. I mean, honestly, look, as soon as I saw LeBron was going to be out tonight, I, I smelt this coming from a mile away. I was like, here it comes. It's going to be Fat Cat Central. They're going to play like a bunch of Garfields because no one's going to be out there. And look at this froggy Lakers team. They're going to be on national television. And here we go. I was even, we were talking about, I was talking about with Solana on the Porvis spot. I got receipts on it too. We were like, oh, I see how this is going to go tonight. We already knew when LeBron was out. And that's why I've been saying all month. Like, I like the idea that the Miami Heat have a lot of challenges ahead. I just feel like it gets them more in the zone. I, I feel like it gets them uh, more focused. This team, I don't know how many more performances everybody has to see all year uh, with them against lesser competition and the frustrating losses. You know, this, the Pistons, you know, San Antonio. And, and, and you give up that fourth quarter to this Lakers team, which, I mean, it's been like trying to find water in the desert with them trying to find offense. And you guys made Dennis Schroeder look like a combination of Kyrie Irving crossed with John Morant tonight. And it just gets, you know, it's just unbelievably frustrating because you got your whole unit, together your main guys are all together your starting lineups there victor oladipo's rounding into form you did get the news about duncan robinson being out but he probably wasn't going to play anyway no one spo um with a full deck and you know just like right out of the gate it just had a vibe of miami's like hey we've been in la for four days and we we're just willy nilly Tiptoeing through the tulips, giving like, ah, oh, what's happening? They're picking our pocket at every single turn. No, bigs, dude. We'll get this together at some point. And they oh, just playing with fire like that every which way. This team acting like they're the big three heat and not a team that has been floundering around 500 all. You just got to two games over 500. For the first time, you should look at LeBron being out as a gift. And instead, what they look at it as, ah, we can coast this game. We can take it easy. We're going to be taking on a bunch of 6'4 guys with Russ and Patrick Beverly and Dennis Schroeder and pff, Thomas Bryant. We just took his lunch money in Miami. We don't have to worry about it at all. La, 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 la. And that's how they go about these games. And it's just, it's just becoming mind-numbingly annoying as a fan watching this and especially if you were the hardcores and you are up right now and you are if you are in South Florida and you stay up for that to watch that effort and to put that effort out in front of the country let alone the fact that you're doing it in front of your fans to put that effort out in front of the country all right even though I mean Jeff Van Gundy and Mark Jackson tell me two guys who are more checked out in a regular season game I'd love to see it because that is renowned as a great broadcast crew. And I agree. At the tops, it is. You know, in the best games, I like those guys. Breen, Van Gundy, and Mark Jackson. But you get them on a regular season game, oh, could they not give a rat's ass about it? They're just they're they're sitting here arguing about maintenance program. I got these two, these two angry Muppets are like, well, why isn't there the team that's doing the counter? Why isn't there a team that's doing opposite of uh, of maintenance program? I'm like, what? And I do watch the national broadcast uh, because I like to know, like, you know, I hear Eric and John, you know, there's not a lot of heat national broadcasts like hear Eric and John every other game or maybe the rare game that I'm doing uh, the radio and, and Jax is there. So I get the local flow. I want to see what they're going to say. They don't say anything because they, they, they're just there to cash a check. They, that's also infuriating about the whole thing. It's like Breen pros pro. Always showing up, always doing what he's got to do. This Van Gundy and this Mark Jackson, they're like, you ever think about opposite, opposite maintenance program? What about run them into the ground program? Who knows? I don't know. What I do know is that was vomit-inducing, that game. I mean, Tyler Hero, whew, just Dennis Schroeder just completely dominated him on both sides today. Um, that was disappointing. You know, Tyler's been great. He's been fantastic, but it just felt like he got out competed tonight. 
and that's uh, that's an unfortunate thing. You know, he uh, he didn't shoot well. Felt like it got into his head a little bit. Um, and Schroeder was an absolute dog. Schroeder carved up the Miami Heat. He ate them up for lunch, dude. Vic, they threw Caleb Martin at him at the end. He was blowing past everybody. And it really, uh, whew, that's a tough one to swallow, man. That's a tough one to swallow. I mean, nobody on this Heat team offensively really showed up except for Bam and Jimmy. Bam with a third straight 30-point game, 30 and 13. But, you know, with Jimmy, here's the thing. Like, Jimmy, like, it took him to, like, the entire first half. This is this is the thing that, you know, here's, here's a perfect example of it. Okay, so Jimmy, the last Lakers game, and it's against LeBron. But Jimmy sets the tone immediately. And it's like, LeBron versus Jimmy, boom, 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 let's get it going. And this one, it's just like Jimmy's like, ah, yeah, I haven't really gotten going yet. And it's like takes to the third quarter for him to like engage into the game. And I really just feel like I get it. Like Jimmy is, the, you know, he, he is your best player. And I know that you're maintaining it and he's not trying to go balls to the wall because of the knee thing. But like. I just feel like in a game like this, and one of the things that's been frustrating about this Heat season has been they cannot put any team away. They play down to their competition, and I really do feel like these guys would be having games where they get to play 28 minutes or 25 minutes. If they could just step on a team's neck and, and snuff it out immediately, and instead they play with their food or they get cute or they F around and... You know, all of a sudden you're in a you're in a nine point hole to start the game. And if you really look at the game, like that was the you know, that was the big difference that first quarter. Um, you know, the third quarter was the fourth quarter was super frustrating because the defense just completely got uh, obliterated no matter what they threw at them. You know, there was you know, they were doing zones and they were just, you know, putting the switch with Bam was on Russ, and then they have giant Thomas Bryant dunking on Kyle Lowry and Tyler Hero at the same time. He might as well just put them both in his pocket and take them away like little toys. Um, yeah, dude, just like nothing was working. Nothing was working for it. Um, you know, Vic definitely a step back from his last performance. Um, offensively and defensively. So that's just disappointing, man. And then, you know, the three-point shooting was beyond atrocious tonight i think jimmy was jimmy the only guy to make no jimmy and vic made multiple threes max Struess, mwah, one of six from downtown uh gabe vincent he was oh one kyle lowry one of four kyle lowry did get to the free throw line tonight there's that uh oh kyle ended up in double digits good for him 11 points tyler hero no free throws tonight yeah i mean it was uh it was a tough one but phew. How many more times can we bang our head against the wall with the same bull crap? You know, like, look, and credit to the Lakers. They competed their ass off. Um, but be real about it, dude. You know, it's like y y you're if you're going to you're going to be serious about this. Like you're a, you're on a road trip. Right. And like, look, they can go win this last game. A three and two road trip is great. On a five game trip. You're like, oh, you'll take three. Two. But dude. You've they've been playing well on this road trip. The worst game you're gonna put forth is this game. Just it, I just wonder when Eric Spolstra, who has already done like the uh the Jax Teller, like let his hands go and just like just embrace the embrace the the clutch. I, I I really wonder when he just like puts his head through a wall because he's just so frustrated with the uh, with, with with just the inconsistent effort, who he's going to get on a night to night basis? Because, you know, I even do, like I, like just please don't play like fat cats tonight. And and dude, like they hate Mondays and love lasagna like a bunch of Garfields today. <laughs> what a, what a, what a what a pitiful performance.